residents affectionately call it the Quash. It's more than 4,000 miles off the coast of California. Finding it on a map is tough, but for the past 30 years, the U.S. Army Kwajalein Atoll has remained a vital element in America's defense, research, and development effort. Its unique mission dictates an equally unique way of life for residents, and that makes the Quaj unlike any Army installation in the world. Hi, Nina. You know you're in a small town when there's just 2,500 people. Hi, Carol. Hi, Dan. And you meet someone who knows just about all of them. <laughs> Cynthia Brewer is that kind of person. Uh, Carol Adler is a computer program, and Dan works at the newspaper. Officially, she's one of two public affairs specialists. Unofficially, she's the welcome wagon. It's a small island. From the time you get off the plane, you can't go anywhere without a familiar face. When it comes to small towns, the U.S. Army Kwajalein Atoll is about as small as they come. The island chain sits in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, more than 2,000 miles from anywhere. Kwajalein is the largest of the islands, and from the air, the landing strip stands out the most. Landing on it covers just about the entire length of Kwaj, all three miles of it. But that's part of what makes Yusaka unique. Its size dictates many things, including the mode of transportation. Take rush hour, for example. Don't look for any private vehicles, though, at least none of the four-wheeled variety. It's such a small island. The island is about three miles long, and it's about half mile wide, and there's 2,500 people that live here with lots of little kids. Uh, there is no need for POVs out here. The island's too small, so the private transportation, the POVs here, are bicycles. But don't mistake USACA's size for its mission. Quaj also supports field testing for theater missile defense systems that help protect soldiers on the ground. About six times a year, Vandenberg Air Force Base tests these systems while Kwajalein Missile Range monitors performance. The range is the, is the mission. It gets into national missile defense, it gets into theater missile defense, it gets into space surveillance in support of U.S. Space Command. We all do, also do tracking in support of NASA. It's a big mission and one that grows increasingly more important. How do we best posture ourselves to protect our troops? How do we best posture ourselves and our allies to protect themselves against theater missiles? This is an area for which we, uh, we, we need a material solution. And Kwajalein offers that full envelope testing capability. Capability that has for the past 30 years kept Quaj in the forefront of ballistic missile testing. And it's that same capability Army officials believe will keep this tiny Pacific Island center stage in theater missile defense. The Army has run Kwajalein Atoll and the missile range since 1964.